members of the Jones Law School faculty, staff, students, family, and friends. I want to first thank this university, Faulkner, and particularly thank our dean, and I have watched him since his arrival, how he has guided the school so that it is now accredited. I want to thank the sponsoring organizations, the American Constitution Society, the Black Law Students Association, Faulkner Law Review and Student Bar Association that conceived the idea and implemented the plans for such an auspicious occasion. A special thanks goes to Professor and Dean Hamlet for coordinating this program and working with my staff and making this all possible. I'm also thankful for my wife, Carol. Glad that she could join us along with all of the other members of the family and Fred has already acknowledged them so I don't have to call their names. But I want to particularly thank Carol because she entered my life at a very crucial time when I lost my first wife of some 40 years. And she said to me before we got married that she wanted to take care of me. And during the last 11 years, her life has been changed and I want to thank her. Let's just give Carol a hand. Let me thank Solomon Say, who was the first law partner that I had. His father, even though he wasn't a lawyer, he taught me how to practice law. And when his son got out of law school, I was just delighted to have him come and share with me and join in the practice of law. And we did that for a long period of time. I want to also thank Ernestine Sapp and thank this law school for naming Bossa after her. <coughs> she has devoted all of her private practice of law working with us and she came up and told me as she has always done that what uh, Representative Holmes didn't realize is that she was the one that filed that case and that's probably why I didn't put it in my book. I didn't claim it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to also thank my, my office staff who are here and uh, uh, Ms. Annie Bailey. Stand up, Ms. Bailey. Ms. Bailey has been with me for over 45 years. <laughs> and other members of our family, when you have someone who's been with you for that long, they certainly must be a part of family. I was shocked, astonished, surprised, and otherwise overjoyed when I was informed that the law school was going to have a civil rights symposium annually. I was also shocked when they indicated they wanted to name it after Fred Gray. So what you have done here this evening is second only to that first shock. <laughs> when I was called and told that you was gonna have a Fred Gray appreciation at the Embassy Suite Hotel and that you had a theme. Fred Gray, a change agent for civil rights. 
I was even more shocked. Thank you very much for this honor. Certainly I'm honored, I'm appreciative, and I'm humble that you have conferred upon me such a high honor. First, I'm honored to have had this dinner in my honor. And let me also say I appreciate so very much what Morris D. said. He does an excellent job with the Southern Poverty Law Center. Let's give him a hand. I am honored to have this dinner in my honor because of the city in which it takes place. I was born here in Montgomery, less than five miles from where we are tonight. While I have received many honors and many awards, from organizations, cities, states, and institutions of higher learning from around the country, and even some out of the country. To receive this honor in this city, the city of my birth, has a special meaning to me. I am not unaware of the fact that Jesus, when he started teaching in his hometown of Nazareth, and I'm paraphrasing him, said in effect to the people, a prophet is not honored in his own home. So for you to honor me here tonight is indeed an honor. Having been born during the Great Depression on the west side of Montgomery on Hercules Street, a two block street that runs from Hill Street adjacent to St. Jude to the railroad, Having grown up on West Jeff Davis and Hill Street and Day Street, our home lot now is a part of uh, our Lily Baptist Church parking lot. And having attended my first school at Loveless Elementary School, now Lamp on Jeff Davis, and I also received my college education here at Alabama State. So to have an honor and to have a dinner for me at home means a great deal. One might say that my life story is the story of an African American born to parents who had little formal education, but who during his college days, as you already indicated, I saw a problem. I recognize that our folks, if they had a cause of action, and particularly if a white person was involved, there was very little hope for justice. I also realized that everything was completely segregated and we had no black lawyers here then, and white lawyers, if you had a cause of action against a white person, very few would handle those cases. And I felt that if there could be one person who would begin to handle those sort of cases, maybe something good could happen. I am appreciative for what you have done tonight because I realize there are many persons and many individuals who have done a great deal in the field of civil rights that you could be honoring tonight, but you elected to honor me. May I express my appreciation to all of you for coming out. If you could stand where I, where I stand and look at you, you are really a beautiful audience. So just give yourselves a hand. <laughs> 